Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the match between Barcelona and Mallorca. This is going to be a game where Barcelona is going to be playing away. This is considered to be the easiest match we are going to be having within this month. I'm not saying that this is going to be an easy game, but if you compare this game to the other games that we are going to be having, this is the easiest one. And so moving forward from this match, when it is over, it is only going to get more difficult from there. Xavi has also said during the pre-match press conference, conference that this is going to be a definitive month for these players and I think that the very least that we have to do right at the very least we must beat all of the teams within La Liga in October and also beat Inter Milan twice if we can just win within those games coming out from October we will be in a very great condition and so throughout this video we're also going to be talking about the updates regarding Jules Koundé and also with Sergio Busquets and also again revolve around the press conference of Xavi Hernandez because he did give us an idea on who could be starting within the starting 11 but first i do want to speak about our sponsor for today and that is the one football app if you want to find out where i do get my information when it comes to a certain game or like any other stats regarding a specific player or a team all of that is compact within the one football app they also do have great articles that you guys can read regarding like a player analysis or like team analysis or a post-match analysis type of article all of that is again compact within the one football app if you do want to download the one football app you can so by scanning in the QR code that you do see here on the screen but if you do not have a camera there's also going to be a link down below that's clickable it'll take you straight to the app store you can download the one football app and set exactly who and what you do want to follow and then you'll be set and done from there it's a very easy process it is for free and I hope you guys do enjoy it but now let's go back into this video and let's talk about Kunde first because look when it comes to Kunde, he is actually expected to return much sooner than expected it does say here according to Javi Miguel as the days go by there is an increase increased feeling that Koundé could be in perfect condition for the match against Real Madrid. His recovery is going at an excellent pace. And so this is great news. To hear that this player is recovering faster, that is the best thing that we could hear. So going based off this report, this player could actually return within the next two weeks because originally he was supposed to be out for about five weeks. But the fact that this player could come in in the next two weeks, that is great. We do need this player. And so we even saw this player training with the first team. He was smiling. He looked like he was in good spirit. He did not even look like he was injured. He was right next to Christensen. And so we're like, okay, like, was he lying to us? Was he lying to the French national team just so he can join Barcelona earlier and be ready for this October month? And so if we're really going to be having Koundé within these next two weeks, the only defensive line I'm actually thinking about when it comes to facing Real Madrid, it is going to be Koundé on the right back position, Christensen and Eric Garcia as the center back duo, and Alejandro Balde on the left back position. Koundé would fix a multitude of things for us. And the fact that this player is coming in earlier is only going to be great news for Xavi Hernandez but now let's move on towards Sergio Busquets because the tables have turned surprisingly because Xavi did say something about Busquets's like situation with Barcelona and this is what Xavi had to say Busquets has spoken publicly about his future and said he would decide at the end of the season for me he is a very important player and also for Luis Enrique too so I did not really see this coming because many of us have heard that Busquets was going to be leaving in the summer of 2023 no matter what there has been like contract negotiations between Inter de Miami with Busquets and so to hear this from Xavi could we say that Busquets has changed his decision because maybe the reason why he might have continuity with Barcelona and maybe stay here for another two years after 2023 it is because everything is going well like we see the best version of Busquets now he is one of our best players and maybe Busquets is realizing okay I have not been really lowering my level it's just the fact that we had horrible coaches but now with Xavi here he is getting the best out of me so we do not have have much time to talk about like Busquets's like future with Barcelona but it does change a lot of things when it comes to certain operations that Barcelona is currently building like if Busquets does stay here for another two years so what does this mean for the future of Frankie does this mean that this could also block the move of someone like Rodri or maybe someone like Zubimendi in the future what happens to Nico Gonzalez knowing that he is on loan at Valencia so this is going to be something that we are going to be discussing maybe later down this month but I have no problem with this player continuing because there is no other better central defensive midfielder right now that is again better than Sergio Busquets he is a great great player and especially when he is on his a game so now let's step away from these pieces of news and now let's talk about the potential starting 11 let's add more emphasis on this game because if we look at the list here we can see that there is players like Asado a player that was expected to be here to be as a backup within the right back position there were also other players like Victor Barbera who is a striker there was also other like youth players 
like Fernandez, who was another center back that does play in the youth division. We had someone like Hector Fort, who is another player that does play in the right back position. None of those players ended up being in the squad list, but it's just that you can just see that Xavi Hernandez is bringing in youth players from the academy and training with the first team just in case things do go left. But Gasado is the definitive one to be making it to the squad list as expected. And then we can also see that players like Ronald Araujo and Kunde, they're not present. Sergio Roberto makes it in time. Most likely this guy is going to be starting in the right back position within that defensive line. I'm really proud on how he has been performing. He has been having tremendous performances through this season and I expect nothing different tomorrow night. And then when it comes to Dembele and Ansu Fati, this is what Xavi had to say about these two players. He said that Dembele is fine and he's ready to play. As for Ansu Fati, he said this in a quote, he has been great in the last two weeks. When we trained, he was doing really well. He took it as a motivator for him to work even more. So these are going to be two players that will be starting just going based off what Xavi has said about Dembele and Ansu. Dembele will of course deliver and bring the assist being that backup to Lewandowski where Lewandowski is going to try and find more goals. And we're probably going to be seeing much more work coming from Dembele defensively mainly because we don't really have a real solid right back at this moment. I know that Sergio Roberto is going to be there but Dembele is going to have to be there to be that extra coverage in order to add the pace in case like someone counterattacks us. So he is going to be required to drop much more than we have ever seen him before. And amazingly like if you look at these stats right like Dembele is actually one of the best players in La Liga when it comes to dispossessing the opponent like he really is. I know that sounds like very strange but Dembele is actually a great great player when it comes to the defensive work. As for Ansu Fati he is going to be having a point to prove he has been training very well. I think that tomorrow we must see the best version of him. Hopefully he can score about one to two goals with Lewandowski and it's going to be important for him overall. Like we want and Ansu Fati wants to see himself in the starting 11 for the Spanish national team in the World Cup and the only way he could do that is by doing very well in this Barcelona team against the Real Madrid's, the Bayern Munich's, the Inter Milan's and you better bet that these two coaches Luis Enrique and Xavi Hernandez have been having like numerous conversations about Ansu basically talking about how they can make this player even better. So hopefully he does well and then when it comes to looking at the most possible starting 11 one of the things that Xavi did say about Frankie and Gavi and this is something that you guys have been wanting me to talk about. Xavi did say this I could play with midfielders in the back like Frankie De Jong or Gavi but these are just ideas and that's very interesting right because when it comes to these two players he's basically saying yes I could place Frankie De Jong as a center back if we really need that and we can also have Gavi playing as a right back and that is very interesting because I never thought about seeing Gavi playing as a right back in that defensive line like can you imagine Gavi playing as a right back I don't think that's going to happen tomorrow who knows maybe Xavi might be like extra extra creative but I think that that would be like the worst worst case scenario like we see Sergi Roberto get injured and like Casado get injured I think in the end even though that is just an idea maybe we could see that through the season he does hold traits on what a right back should be when it comes to making those runs having those defensive skill sets taking the ball away from the opponent so it's a very interesting idea from Xavi Hernandez but I don't think again that's going to be happening this is probably going to be the most possible starting 11 that we could see we're probably going to be seeing Alejandro Balde as the left back Eric Garcia and Christensen as the center back duo and Sergio Roberto as the right back our midfield being Busquets Gavi and Pedri and then our front three being no other but Ansu Fati Lewandowski and Dembele with an 11 like this it is strong enough we can score goals we can bring the assist we can put out a very entertaining performance and let's hope for the best the substitutions that I do expect to see happen tomorrow night would be Frankie coming in Kessie coming in and also Rafinha another player that has been doing so well both with the national team and also with the club so that is going to be wrapping up today's Barcelona daily news and pre-match preview thank you guys so much for watching if you guys are new here welcome to the channel please like subscribe comment and i will see you guys in the next video